Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle. And I'm Daniel Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. In Counseling Center news, if you filled out an application to attend PPCC this fall, they will be here this Wednesday, April 11th, to help you select classes. You need an appointment for this visit, so stop by the Counseling Center to schedule that. On Thursday, April 12th, college visits kick off with the reps from Black Hills State University in South Dakota. Juniors interested in attending CSU Fort Collins after graduation, their admissions team will be here at 11 a.m. next Friday, April 20th, in the Lower Commons to attend this visit. You must be passing your fourth hour class. Stop by the Counseling Center to sign up. On Tuesday, April 24th, mark your calendar for the visit from the U.S. Air Force Academy admissions team. They will be in the WHS Auditorium at 6.30 p.m. with a full-blown presentation on life as a cadet, as well as how to navigate the admissions process. If you are even slightly interested or curious about attending the Academy, bring your parents and join them for this presentation. Recent Academy grads will be available to answer any questions you may have. Looking to May, the reps from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Arizona will be here on May third to share their information. Seniors, if you did not pick up your Herf Jones order or you recently placed an order for announcements, they will be back this Wednesday, April 11th during lunch. Remember, your order must be paid for and you need an ID to pick that up. Check in with Miss Abeda in the Counseling Center for more information. Caps and gowns won't be here until the first week of May. And two more announcements for seniors. Expect to hear many announcements regarding graduation information coming at you from the Counseling Center. They first want you to bring in all of your college acceptance letters, scholarships, grants, and all other award letters that you have received, even if you are not planning on accepting them. This is in preparation for Senior Awards Night. Also seniors, it is critical for you to clear any conditions and fees you owe before graduation so you can receive your diploma. See the business office to take care of those fees. For students and all other grades, you too should check Infinite Campus to determine if you are on conditions and get those fees paid before the end of the year. And now, we're heading to the cafeteria to check in with Miss Betsy for our lunch menu. Happy Monday everybody, welcome back, hope you enjoyed your weekend. Today we're going to have a chicken sandwich and tomorrow we have beef, bean and cheese burrito. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, just like conditions and fees, you need to add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. If you owe money, you should clear this too before graduation or final exam. Juniors, tomorrow is the magical SAT test and seating charts have been posted in various locations around school. Find out where you will be testing and which seat you have been assigned. Sophomores and freshmen, you will also want to check the seating charts for your test location for Wednesday and Thursday. Good luck to everyone testing. If you need something free to consume, check out the books in the library on the free book cart. They have a variety of selections available. See Miss HK for details. We'll be back after the Gladiator Sports Update with prom and other events happening this week. But first, here is Jared Grace with some sporting news. Good Monday morning, guys. I'm Jared Grace with your Gladiator Sports Update. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. You heard right. It's dodgeball tournament time. Sign up outside of Miss Melton's room. Cost is $5 per five-member team. The tournament will take place the week before prom, and winners will play at the prom assembly. The deadline to sign up is this Wednesday, April 11th. The Powder Puff game is scheduled for next week on April 18th. Stop by room 103 to buy your barbecue tickets for the tailgate that starts at 4 p.m. behind CA Foster Stadium. The game starts at 5 p.m. The Warrior games are scheduled for this Friday, April 13th, and signups continue until tomorrow. See Miss Melton in room 103 for details. Ladies, if you are interested in playing volleyball next year, you should come to the open gyms every Wednesday from 3.15 to 4.15 from now until May. Check in with Miss Lacey and in room 103 for details and information. Our Gladiators baseball team is traveling to TCA tomorrow to take on the Titans at 4 p.m. We'll have scores for you on Wednesday. In track news, the varsity track team took their speed and skills on the road to Pueblo for the John Tate Invitational at Dutch Clark Stadium. Here are their results.
Our ladies are at home tomorrow against the Woodland Park Panthers at 4 p.m. The Ultimate Frisbee team had a double header on Saturday against TCA. Here are the results. In tennis news, they are back on the court against St. Mary's on the road at 3.45 today. The boys' swim team dips back in the pool this Thursday, April 12th, at home against Pueblo Centennial. The team may be young, but they are making some strong splashes. And finally, time to start planning your outfits for Spirit Week in celebration of prom. Here's the lineup. Monday is Murica Day. Tuesday is Twin Day. Wednesday is Fashion Disaster Day. Thursday is Dress to Impress Day. And Friday is Color Wars Day. Freshmen, your color is black. Sophomores, your color is gray. Juniors, your color is white. And seniors, your color is blue. Teachers, please wear your staff shirt from this year. That's it for a Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this week. I'm Jared Grace. Now back to you, Kieran and Daniel. Thanks, Jared. Glads, it's already April and soon. Final exams will be on our doorstep and NHS wants to help you prepare. NHS students are now offering tutoring sessions in the library during a advisory on Thursdays until final exams. If you need help with a class or studying for a test, pick up a tutoring pass from the library on Thursday morning and then come back during advisory. They will have computers available for these sessions. Juniors and seniors, the Masquerade Prom is a short two weeks away on Saturday, April 21st from 6.30 p.m. to midnight at the Doubletree Royal Arena. Ticket prices are $50 per person and the last day to buy them is next week on Tuesday, April 17th. Remember, you cannot buy tickets at the door, so get your tickets in the business office now. Please make a note of these simple rules for wearing masks at prom. All masks must be pre-approved, so please check in with Ms. Molino in room 166 or Ms. Fowler in room 144 during lunch and after school through Friday before prom. You can wear your masks in the ballroom area, but when you're in the general hotel area, including at check-in, chaperones must be able to see your beautiful faces. Oh, and remember, masks must be fully removable and full face masks are not allowed. Prom outside guest forms are due this Friday at 3 p.m. So get those in and ensure your date can attend the prom with you. Ladies, come shop for your prom dress in Becca's closet. Make your appointment in the library with Miss HK and remember the dress you select is yours to keep. Prom nominations will be held on Tuesday and Wednesday, April 10th and 11th in the quad at lunch. Come rock the vote. FCCLA is having a very important meeting today during lunch in room 163 with Miss Tucci. They will be discussing community service opportunities and everyone is welcome to attend. See you there. If you are looking to earn some extra cash this summer and are at least 17 years old, WSD3's facilities is hiring. They are looking for summer grounds crew workers. You can expect to do some of the following duties. Landscaping, painting, playground repair, and moving furniture. This is a full-time position for the summer and you must have a valid driver's license. To apply, please go to WSD3.org. The deadline is May 11th. The library would like to let us know about some housekeeping notes for the end of the year. Seniors, the last day you can check out materials is Friday, April 13th, and you'll need to return these materials by April 27th. For all other students, your last day to check out materials is April 26th, and you must return them no later than May 10th. Finally, the annual High School Artist Showcase will take place on May 2nd at the UMB Bank in town. The reception will be from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Come check out your peers' outstanding artwork. That's all for our news today. I'm Kieran Doolittle. I'm Daniel Robinson, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great week. Good luck to all students testing this week.